This is pretty good. What are we drinking today, Sean? Today, Two Brothers Artisan Brewing's Pinch of Grace IPA out there in Warrenville, Illinois. Such a phenomenal Illinois brewer brewery. One of my favorites, to be completely honest with you, Corey. They're really I good like beer. being honest with you when it comes to beer. Me too. Seven percent. That's a pretty hefty little percentage for this flavor. This is really good. Yeah, it's got nice citrus and too. vanilla, which uh, you know, citrus and vanilla together, I've found more and more is something I get down with. Yeah, man, I gotta tell you, I like it a lot. This is really good. If you put your beers in the freezer for a few, you get that real like, almost like it's out of the, the keg at a bar. It's real frosty and delightful. Adjectives, and put a lot of pizzazz on your adjectives. Pizzazz, that's how you say it, okay? I just picture you leaning back over a bar. <laughs> I used to do that when I worked at the Arrogant Frog. <laughs> I would give myself little IPA guzzles. Don't tell the owner. I respect that, I respect that. And uh, Never see if you're watching this. I didn't do that. I didn't. All right, and another day, right? Three sauces. Another day, another group of sauces. Um, did all three of these come from the Freshies crew, or is this a, a two and a one? Here's what happened. Freshies sent us these two. This is a random boy. Ooh, I see, I see, I see. I feel like you need a long Ooh, wizard beard for that. I see. <laughs> Look oh, who's not getting chicken. No chicken buddy. You blew it. You gonna regret that. Yeah, nah. Getting any check? Am I Beyonce? And all my dumb dogs, all my dumb dogs. How are you in a relationship? The girl that I'm dating is uh, brainwashed mm. via uh, wizardry that I came up with. That makes sense. <laughs> so to start off, yeah, we got ourselves an award-winning hot sauce. So says the label. I haven't tested them on that. New Zealand inspired, made in the USA. Mexican Chipotle. <laughs> We're crossing some Hold borders on. here, boys. Hold on. That's like people that have crossing ideologies of tattoos. I got Mandarin here. Yeah, right. I got uh, Mandarin over top of their tribal tattoo. I got like the, the Jesus crucifix. <laughs> yeah, that in Spanish, yeah. it says like, Dios mio. It's hey. so funny. He's pissed. Not off. only are you not getting chicken, you're, buy you're paying the next month's rent. <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. I don't give nothing about you. <laughs> so for Cully's uh, Mexican Chipotle number four, it is a Screaming Mimi award winner from the New York City Hot Sauce Expo. Oh, that's supposed to be a really prominent expo. Is that right? So I've heard on the internet. Yeah, oh, you got another uh, wide rim boy. Yeah, I love the wide rim boys. Wide brim. Oh. That's also still not probably accurate. <laughs> All right, um, that. Cheers. Oh wow. Here's the thing. I had really negative thoughts going into it. I'm fine with this, this is good. Chipotle sauces all taste really similar to me. That's a really good like, one though. I feel like the consistency of that though, and the flavor comes through way better than most Chipotle sauces. I think most when I smelled it, and the scent of this, I thought it was gonna be way smokier, and there was, and I don't like the smoky, I think that's why I usually don't like Chipotle. Me too. This is probably my favorite Chipotle sauce I've had. That was a really, really so. good one. I went into that, like, especially after that scent, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a bummer, we'll get through this and get to the freshies. This is really, really good. Yeah. New Zealand, thank you for expiring a US uh, company to make a Mexican Chipotle. So, Chipotles are smoke-dried ripe chili peppers used for seasoning. So I love smoked flavor of foods, like smoked meats and like smoked veggies and stuff. There's just something about normal Chipotle peppers I'm kind of like just unamused by. I, I'm not I'm not laughing, I'm not having a great time, I'm just kind of like, that exists. I'm with That you, is I one am. of the best of the game this of is, that. That's really good Chipotle. That's my favorite Chipotle sauce I think I've, I've ever had. I would 100% put this on any number of items, which it does do the thing that you love. Tells you the items to put it on. Do you want to hear them? I would love to. This says that it would be good for burrito, oh, tacos, burritos, and fajitas, or with any Mexican dish. Yeah, I nailed it, I guess. <laughs> Margaritas? <laughs> I guess you could put that in a Bloody Mary, but that's not my jam. No, I don't do Bloody Marys at all. So next up, we got two sauces from a company called Freshies. Woohoo! They sent us a bunch of like margarita mixes, Bloody Mary mixes, hot sausage seasoning, stuff like that. This. And if you want to see the opening for that, uh, if the vlog's not out yet, I guarantee it's coming soon. But on our new channel, Corey and Sean, go uh, subscribe and like all our stuff on there. Uh, we did a vlog where we did a package opening, and Freshies was one of the things that we opened on camera. We've got the goods. Yeah. Oh, this Ooh. is a green heat jalapeno. Sweet fire habanero. Ooh. Cool. 
Hey, thanks, Freshies. This stuff all looks really cool. Denver, Colorado, Freshies Food Corporation. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man. Fresh. I'm really liking that too. Then there's the heat there. We've been on a hot streak for our sauce. Like, not hot as in heat, but hot as in tasty. 100% agree. Wow, that's really. A, this boasts a medium heat, and that's right where it's at in a really good way. Yeah, I'm not getting a ton of heat. As a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say I'm not really getting any heat. Really? I get a little bit of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll say that's medium. I think I got some taste buds burnt in the back, like sizzled off. Jalapenos, tomatillos, fresh onion, agave nectar, fresh garlic, and all the lime juice and black mm. pepper that your face could need and want. Wow, dude. This is. Bro, I can't tell you how, it, like, the level of hot sauces we've been having these last couple weeks have been unreal. These are really, really good. It's the tops. Mm. All right, you, find, you ready for our final one? I sure am. So this is Freshies again, but this is Sweet Fire Habanero, seriously hot. Oh, I'm excited. And um, a lot of the same stuff, except this kind of has the habaneros and then liquid smoke. Okay, uh, liquid smoke, we'll see how I, you guys know my stance on that. Third and final sauce, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. The sweetness comes through really, mm -hmm. really prominently. Mm hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm not, like, it's such a subtle smokiness that actually I'm enjoying that. It's not that hot, though. No, I agree. Like, it's it's there because, you know, you kind of have three sauces in a row. But relative to habanero, what you But expect. sometimes you'll have that bite and you'll be like, whoa, you know? That's just kind of a nice, moderate, like higher heat, but like kind of moderately hits you. I bet if you have a lot of this sauce at once, it'll start to kind of add yeah. up. But a one wing thing. I'd call that more like a medium. Especially in our terms. A medium to high. Yeah, medium, like more of a high to most people, but to our terms, that's kind of a medium to high. If you had to pick a number out of 100%, like what percentage would you kind of, I'm at like a, a 58 A 100 is what? Carolina, or uh, I mean Pepper X or whatever the hell. Where's Sriracha? Like 15%. Oh. 15? Sriracha? 15 to 20% out of 100? Oh, wow. That's like... Is the sriracha is, really low? To me, I, sriracha's always got a little bit of a kick in it. Okay. And it, So this has let's got put, like let's maybe put a little... sriracha at 33.3%. That's it. It's probably like a 38. Okay. Like it's a little more of a kick than a sriracha. What's this for you? Like 15? This is like 15. Okay. This is like now. So there you go. I think it's easier to do numerical, even though it's like just our opinion. This, this, might, this might kill brain. you. I yeah. don't know. What are you gonna do? Seriously. I saw people eat Everyone's the, got different taste buds, you know? I saw people eat the uh, spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes and they thought it was too hot to eat. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so like, I, we must just be ruined, bro. I don't know. I think so. We do a lot of hot sauces. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. Corey's wearing the burger pocket t shirt right now. You can hey. snag that at number six at cheese.com. We're gonna shout out a couple people who bought stuff out of our store to give them the love they deserve because they're supporting young creators. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And first up, a, a longtime fan of the show, okay. Courtney Basinger. I Courtney, you said it. dude, you okay. are the man. It uh, was not not only do we know him well, I the first time that Courtney donated or whatever it was, I called Courtney a female. He goes, Sean, come on, dog. And I was like, oh. Doesn't he have a dope beard? Yeah, and now we know each other via internet. He's a dope I will never beard. mess that again. Courtney, 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 thank you. He bought himself uh, the pocket shirt. Boom. And a pair of Sunny G's. I clap when I get awkward. Shirt shout out number two, the final one on this Monday video. Bro, we're gonna say her name a lot because she keeps buying stuff, double orders. Amanda Evans, couple of koozies. Did she get the blue and the white? She got the blue and the white. Queen of the show, man. She supports us about damn near as much as anyone else. I'm gonna do this to support her because she knows how to rock the damn koozie. Rock the Casbah, rock the Casbah. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the koozie on my beer. You got the sure I'll have a drink, Sean and Corey sitting on the old couch there being dumbasses. And then you got that slick, sleek logo. And then, hey, we also have a second store that opened for our podcast. We got koozies for that too. Look at that. Boom, Look at that sexy the logo. Unemployables. Brand new episode went live today. For a long time, this was uh, only available to people who went to our live show and we heard enough people saying, hey, we really want access to that. We thought that's probably a good idea. What are we doing with all this merch that we're not selling? Right. Let's open up the, the doors. Let's open the floodgates and let you in. So we got a bunch of stuff in that store now, Unemployables Pod. Go check it out. Uh, support however you want. If you want none of that stuff, just say hi in the comments. We love you anyways. All right, let's get out of here. But first, pick the sauce today that you thought was the best, the one that you would hang your hat on if you wore a little mini hat. Eric, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. One, two, three. Ooh, 
I, I was honestly nervous that you were gonna snag this. Surprised we went with that. This flavor was fantastic. I think that uh, I want to do more with this, like in the kitchen going forward. I think what we both do is we we always use the hot sauces. A lot of people always ask, "What do you do with the hot sauces?" Yep. Dude, my refrigerator is loaded with hot sauces. Yep. I use them on food. I, I marinate stuff in them, and I'm excited to kind of use this in different ways. Oh yeah. And plus we love that Serrano recently. Oh yeah. That um, you know, like you've kind of been on the green train. I'm on the green train, bro. That's your favorite? Either way, we both pick freshies. Sure did. Freshies, also thanks again for sending this to us, guys. And check out that vlog if you haven't. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video on this channel. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Brand new video always, every weekday. Nothing is changing tomorrow. And we will see you then for more shenanigans with food and fun. Sounds like a carnival that no one wants to go to. <laughs> sure! I'll have a drink.